What's up guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to a very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the Nuke Canada edition. Um, so I have spent some time between episodes to bring some sanity to my armies and divisions. So I'll just quickly go over what I've done here so you guys can see what the next stage of our plans are. So we've got this, what to Swiss eat, because I've got a food theme which I just, I don't even know how that managed to happen. I think it started with the English muffin in. And everybody else just kind of normally went into somewhat of a food theme. And I don't have no idea what the Swiss eat. So, the Swiss are called. What do the Swiss eat? We're surrounding Switzerland. Because we are going to um, invade Switzerland. And actually, where the hell are they going? I don't know. No, you're not going to do that, assholes. Delete your orders. Oh no, somebody's coming over here. Oh, sorry, pardon me. We've got some people coming over here. That's what it is. Yeah, so we got, we're going to surround the Swiss. And we are going to invade Switzerland. Just to clean up Europe. We'll put that guy there to um, get their planning bonus up. We've got the Kebab Kill Zone. Who are coming down to bolster our invasion of Saudi Arabia. We've got 48 divisions. One full infantry. Uh, actually, two full infantry. Plans to invade Finland with the Finnish them. A little Mortal Kombat reference for you guys there. Huh? Huh? Uh, the Swedish Meatballen are also going to be invading. So we've got 48 divisions to the north, um, 24 infantry, 24 tanks, and then a split division coming up over this little red line to um, at least just keep these guys busy. So I will actually, while I'm thinking about it, begin justifying my war goals against both of these assholes. Justify and justify, conquer, conquer. All right, so we get started on that. Um, the Port of Seagulls are going to invade Portugal. Now I've noticed, because I, I just want to clean up uh, Africa and take what's left of Africa. So Portugal has a couple of green spots left over. I don't actually bring any divisions down in, in Africa anymore. Um, we brought them all up. So that might be a problem. So I might hold off on that one. I also noticed they have a, an absolute shitload of troops. Way more than I do. Um, they've got 64 that I can see, and I've only got, well, 19 right now with more on the way, so a total of 24. So I'm going to have to probably wait on that one. But maybe once one of these other European battles is done, um, they can come down here. We don't have to declare war on Portugal right away. I also noticed, which you guys may have noticed before I, is that the Canadians have actually fought and beat us back. Uh, almost completely out of Newfoundland. So I have um, sent over a bolster of troops. They're on their way. They're swimming over, uh, practicing their 100 meter uh, front stroke to take back what is rightfully ours that we gained from the UK. Um, I guess being that this is uh, Newfoundland, or it was Newfoundland, the Canadians have finally discovered that it exists. So for them, it is tr truly new. Truly new. Uh, we've got our our bolstering, our, um, our police divisions are all back. Resistance is very manageable. Um, we've got a couple of yellow spots here. There's one orange spot down here, but that's Italy's problem. And then the red islands here, um, which I guess are our problem, but there's not a whole lot going on in there, so it's fine. So the, the horse dudes have almost taken care of it. They've almost beat the shit out of everybody possible that is riding and, and causing problems. And then lastly, the butter chicken battalion. Butter chicken, of course, being the national food of my house. Uh, we've got 24, 48, uh, 72 divisions going on this battle line with an additional, uh, I guess, 40 coming up here to the north. So we're just going to swarm over. There's still got a lot of guys in the way, but we're going to completely swarm over the British Raj. I'm done because I noticed as I was reorganizing, my casualties in this war have hit a million. And I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, it was 600 something thousand. Which means in taking this small stretch of land, I think I've incurred nearly half a million casualties. So that kind of sucks. I mean, the war is almost over, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. But um, that's a half a million proud German soldiers trying to just do what's right when it comes to keeping the oppressive allies at bay to free up our invasion plans for Canada. So we're going to do that. So let's unpause, let everybody do their thing. This guy's going to need a general. I don't know why he got unassigned. He's uh, almost all infantry. We'll give him a non-armor dude. The air wings. We've built up a, a massive amount of planes, especially bombers. 
Let's put um, let's put some bombers over here. Tactical bombers, sure. Uh, one, two, three, four hundred. They will deploy. Where else do we have airfields? That one's full. You go bomb over here and help us out. Then once you're here, we'll do the same. Hurry up, goddammit. Deploy, deploy, deploy. So this, this border is going to get very, very crowded. And the problem is we're still going to have um, massively insufficient support. Why don't you just go? You're going. Why don't you go? And you just go. So Turkey apparently had some armies left over. Um, and they're harassing me over here. So we're going to continue to bomb close air support. So Turkey's actually carving out a new country. They're carving off a little turkey leg up here in the middle of Asia. So we're going to take that back from them. They've got a few holdover troops that I guess were just stationed in the British Raj. So we're going to fight the British Raj back. We've almost won World War III, actually. We already beat the Soviets, which was just like World War III version B. They're... 20%, 80%. So, we, well, I guess maybe maybe close to winning is, is a bit of a stretch. It is certainly going in our favor, though. I will put it that way. It's certainly going in our favor. How oh, running low on resources again. Oil is going to be a constant problem now. We're building... No, oh, we're finally done with uh, Finland. We'll wait for both, maybe. Available war goal. We'll do both at the same time. Don't know why this one's taking so much longer. October 27th? Yeah, for some reason Sweden took longer. I don't know why that is. It's probably a mechanic. What was that dislike? Holy shit, they like us. Negative 3,989. You think there would just be a cap? Like, what's the difference between disliking somebody by even just 3,000 and then 3,989? That is some serious dislike. Some atrocious dislike. So I'm guessing they'll never come over to our side. That's okay. Okay, this is still, oh man, still 1.1 year ahead. You know what? We're just going to do it. I think we've farted and fucked around just enough. So we'll do that. We'll start to build our nukes. And we're just waiting. The 27th. Three more days. And then we'll just conquer what's left of Scandinavia. Should we start on Switzerland as well? They've got unknown 12 divisions. What does our intelligence tell us? 23 to 36. However, we could... It's an Alpine region, that's right. We could probably just bomb them back to the Stone Age. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got plenty of air superiority. Where's a big airfield? We can just load up with bombers. 2,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Okay, so we'll do a thousand tactical bombers. Wait for that to deploy. And then maybe we'll do... Um, we need more fighters? No, we got more than enough fighters. We'll do a thousand bombers. Uh, close air support. So we're going to load this guy up with a tremendous amount of firepower. And you're going to be flying missions over the Alpine region. Mostly doing close air support. Obviously the Swiss don't have a navy. Little pieces of fruit floating in chocolate don't count as a navy. Okay, declare war, a conquest, conquest. And declare war. Oh. I didn't even see, there was a bunch of warnings on the side. I wonder what that was. 
They weren't our allies. You know what it probably was? Because I think I took one of the things to make an alliance against the USSR. I bet you Finland was part of that. I'll have to go back and check the... Um, check my recording to see what that actually was and put it on pause. It would have been interesting. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have actually changed anything. So we will just begin our invasion here. And were we actually justifying? We hadn't done that yet. So we will do that. We'll take Eastern Switzerland. Yep, all the Moors are merging. They're all joining the Allies. Hopefully we will make very short work of these guys. We will paint with a very broad and very gray brush. Oh, and uh, do we have air support over these regions? No. No air superiority. Okay, that was a mistake. Hang on. Uh, 1600. So let's build the throw over. Um, let's see. Do you want all of these? 1600s. We'll do 600 fighters. And. I would do 600, 600. Okay, we'll do that. So deploy, and then over Finland. I don't know if Finland has, a, has an air force necessarily. I get 1,200 guys here. So let's create a new air wing here as well. And we'll do... Um, yeah, 800, why not? Where's my fighters at? There we go. So 800, 9, 10, 11, 12... 400 planes. There we go. Probably should have done that before I declared war, but better late than never, I guess. Fighter standing by. Get me air superiority, bitches. So we're going to fill the air. We're going to blacken the sky with planes. Fighter standing by. Should be pretty straightforward. Okay, so we're going to blacken the skies with bombers and fighters to make our guys' lives just a little bit easier. Air superiority does seem to make quite the difference, honestly, when it comes to winning or losing these battles, which is why I've been spending so much time um, worrying about it. And now what I've done is I've started to upgrade this airfield because we've been having a hard time getting air superiority in, in India. So I'm going to um, do the same thing here. Uh, we'll just do all of the uh, strategic bombers. Sure. Tactical, interwar, all these old ones. I wish there was a way. I don't know if there's a way to maybe like dismantle these old wings, these old planes that we don't need. A lot of them were not even ours. They're just ones that we had captured. I think that's way too much. I wouldn't even check. That's going to be way too many planes. It's okay. Well, um... Yeah, you can't even adjust downwards. You have to wait for them to get there. Then we can adjust downwards. And then it'll let us do shit. 402. Deploy down to 400. Can you run missions over here? Still can't reach fucking northern India, even from here. Jesus. Okay, well, whatever. Fucking run... Missions in the Middle East, then. These ones are taking forever. Yeah, we're denouncing the Swiss ideals. We don't like cheese. Don't like chocolate. We do like military factories, or these are civilian factories. So we're finally getting through some of these repairs. Our list is not no longer scrollable for repairs, so that's a good thing. So we will just spend our factories on building more factories, I think. Pulling down shift, we'll just queue up all of these to max out the infrastructure in the middle, which is probably the safest area to put them. No, not Iran. Afghanistan? No, not even. Northern India. So you actually can. You can run missions there. That's only strategic bombing. Shit. No, I want close air support. 
Fuck. This area is so hard to hit. There's nothing here. We need to capture a nearby airbase. I guess we got these ones, Central Asia. So we're bombing up here. So I guess once we've taken all this, we can uh, we can redirect. Looks like we've finally gotten past the mountains at the very least. That is a good thing. That's a very good thing. What are you guys doing? Who is this? Okay, um, why don't you go here? So, just conquer that, please. I think I still, these troops are still, yeah, angry by switch posturing. I think we're still waiting for some guys to come, uh, come our way from other places to fill those divisions in. So maybe a little bit slow going. Um, these dudes ran away, so we couldn't get past this little thing. It's okay, it was just to hold them in place. It was all part of the plan. All part of the plan, guys. Finland, Sweden being overrun. Why don't we just um, use the local troops to just crush what's left of you jerks. We'll swarm in from all sides through horrible mountainous terrain. With no support, no supplies, nothing of any particular value. Okay, we've finally broken the line here. We're getting out of the mountains. So what we can do now is just fuck the plan, make a mad dash towards Delhi. And if we can get capture Delhi, I imagine the British Raj will surrender. Don't think they're going to have too much fight in them now that we've uh, we've broken their defenses. And what are the Japanese doing? They're just like walking across huge open spaces. Oh, one other thing I discovered too. Um, I didn't. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I can't actually. I was, I was talking last time about maybe invading Italy and taking back this this territory that they stole from me, because they understand the peace conferences better than I do. But you can't. So if you are the leader of a faction and you only have your puppets in the faction, you can dissolve the faction, no problem. If you're part of a faction and not the leader, you can just leave the faction, no problem. But if you're the leader of a faction and another active nation is part of your faction, you can't do squat. You can't kick them out. You can't dissolve. You can't declare war. You can't do anything. So they're my permanent allies forever and ever. So I can never ever take their territory back um, unless perhaps somebody conquers them. I suppose it might, might do it, but I don't honestly see that happening at this point. The US is still just fighting Japan. Um, so they're ignoring the European war. And they would be the only ones that could potentially do any damage. So we're stuck with them as allies, unfortunately. Go attack Delhi. Just everybody attack Delhi. I just want this war to be over. I want India to capitulate. It's a good thing I spent all that time drawing these battle plans. Now that I'm not even using them. Okay, why don't you just fucking draw... Go. Go. And go. Yeah, later in the game, it seems like... I mean, I don't have to bother even making a ton of really deep tactical decisions like I don't even care about my losses there's another 200,000 down and this is the only real war well I guess I'm involved over here as well but we've lost another 200,000 troops and honestly I just can't bring myself to care I can't bring myself to bother making any particularly deep tactical decisions uh, reducing casualties reducing anything because we have such overwhelming force that none of that stuff makes too much of a difference if I was going up against maybe a human player, it would be different. I'd be more inclined to, um, you know, be more cautious, especially if I figured it was going to be a drawn-out war. But really, at this point, it's honestly just a matter of my patience level. Create a new army with you guys. Let's do that. 
I don't know what I did there. Why are they doing this? No, don't do that. Just guard this border and then push here. That's it. And yeah, whatever. I'll suppose I'll give, I'll give you a commander. You can have him. Yeah, so I mean, there's nothing that can really stop me now. So it's just a matter of when I'm going to lose interest. And of course, I mean, we'll call the end of this Let's Play a total victory once we get a chance to nuke Canada into capitulation. But I, at this point, I could just take my 500 plus divisions and just completely sweep over the rest of Asia, all of South America, North America. Like I could just keep going and going and paint the whole map gray and it would make um, virtually no difference. Or I guess I can just run out the clocks. I think the game automatically ends in 1950, something like that. So it's purely a matter of patience. We're done doing this. Okay, we were just going to declare war. Thank you for the oil. The kebab kill zone. Execute your plan. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe I shouldn't be declaring war because I think I feel like every time I declare war on a new person and then the allies become um once the allies gain new allies, I guess you could say, it uh drags out the war because then it just makes victory that much further away but it's too much fun to just like sweep over like look how quickly Finland fell look how quickly Sweden is falling they've capitulated okay so they'll finish them well there's still some resistance up here we'll finish that off and then we'll bring you down to maybe Switzerland and Portugal yes yeah, so, I mean in terms of ending the war adding allies to our allies or to the allies our enemies may not be the wisest choice but I do just like like look at it's so cool just having gray the German Reich everywhere the center of our empire is like in Russia now it's so big that's why I have the German mic written on my dick because it's so big because we have factories and research 501 days away from nuclear bombs I still just take more mountaineers we probably could just add Mountaineers to a lot of our divisions. We're short on mostly mechanized. So let's add more mechanized. Still have more factories. Okay, then we'll add more support. There we go. Oh, it's Christmas Eve, 1943. We've blown up all of their convoys. You guys would just push into Stockholm. That would make me quite pleased. Why don't you just finish these guys off real quick? Kill those Swedes! Flexible line, okay. Um, so we're basically done. All the industri industrial research. I guess we'll get rockets next. We'll build some rocket planes. I'm gaining more military factories than I can possibly use. Um, what else do I need? More support, more mechanized. I guess I'll just keep doubling up on those until we no longer need them. I did put through those massive orders to modernize and mechanize, build mech warrior suits for all of our infantry. So not surprising that we're going to need a ton of them. More dockyards we captured. Okay, more... Nope, not those ones. The A-class submarines. Got air experience. Honestly, don't really care. Just take Stockholm. Uh, no, we already took Stockholm. Oh, we, yeah, we took taking Stockholm. So a couple more victory points. Maybe we'll just send these guys through straight here. These Scandinavian countries are really tough to take. Normally, you don't have to wait. Like, they require... I guess maybe it's their national unity. But you have to take so much of the land, and so much of the land is just fucking garbage. Like, trekking through all these mountains and snow in the middle of winter is a terrible, terrible idea. Um, like, there's another 100,000 or so down. It's a terrible idea, but I just want them to be over with. You guys converge here, I suppose. You guys converge here. 
keep taking on that land. And Sweden, before we know it, will be done. We're still fighting over here. Let all you guys swarm inwards. Swarm inwards. Oh, finally, they've capitulated. That's good. Is there any resistance left? No, it looks like they're done. Okay, so... Swedish meatballs. We're going to assign. You can come down. You can get a nice vacation. A very similar battle plan. And tanks. Yeah, we'll roll some tanks through the mountains. That seems like a good idea. Do that. This little group. We lost a lot of guys in this group. Uh, the finish them department. The department of finish them. We'll come over here. Same battle plan. Uh, you will join back up with him. We gained a guy somewhere. Where all that happened? Where did this guy come from? He's a marine. When the fuck did I get a marine? Oh, it must be one of those expeditionary forces. Uh, I'm just going to boot you out. Don't want you, marine. Go away. Okay, so we're going to send down the Finnish guys to take over Portugal. The Swedish guys are going to take over Switzerland. The fighting in India is still brutal and endless. But apparently, they, they're they holding out longer than the actual Brits did. So, go figure. We'll just micro a little bit of this. We just need victory points. We're not going to put up much of a fight anymore. Oh, and Italy's invading from this side. I guess good for you, Italy. Appreciate it. Appreciate the help. Resistance. Barely. Some up here. Have we built any more horse dudes? Any more centaurs? Nope. Our training guys. Oh, we've got some fresh guys that have been freshly trained. Okay. We'll turn you into a new division and you can... I guess the warm Luxembourg. How's that? More military factories. More and more and more and more. Okay, more and more and more mechanized. Scroll to the bottom. There we go. Just fucking give up. Oh my god. I'll just take you guys. Come down to Madras. I think that's what Italy's doing. They're just as tired of this as I am. No, we're not letting you join. Not letting you join, Japan. You can sit over here. You've been useless. The Free American Empire deployed war on Chile. Why would you do that? What a bunch of dicks. You're supposed to be guarding the, the South Africa, not conquering them. Well, what, well, how can I complain? It's a pretty baller move, actually. Pretty baller move. Okay, so all of our divisions are slowly pouring in over here. 50 some odd there. Switzerland is done. Did Switzerland capitulate? No, they're not done. Oh yeah, we haven't even invaded Switzerland yet. What? I'm an idiot. Uh, justify war goal. How come my thing went away? I thought I already did this. No, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. I guess I didn't declare war on them fast enough. Damn it. Oh, whatever. Alright, so we got some little, uh, like, ripping hangnails. Stripping off, um, pieces of India. Why don't you guys just, um, evade? Rommel, where are you at? Why don't you come down here and join the fun? They must be getting close to dying. They must be. Okay, see, so what do we want to get next? Do we want sniper rifles, night vision? Sure, why not? Jesus, they're tough. Still need 10% more, god damn. I will give them that they're tough. That is a fact. Okay, why don't you come down just this way? You just punch all the way through. Over here. Oh, 
Just kill all these fools. All right. Well, you know what? It's probably a good time to take a break. I think the Raj is just a lot of cleanup now. We'll get through that. We'll finish them off. And then we will decide what the next stage is going to be. All right, guys. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you next time for the next very special episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, where we try to nuke Canada. <laughs>